Hello and welcome back. Today we are looking at a very crucial word, first, such a simple word, but it can be used in so many different idioms to express quite a wide range of things. In today's lesson, we will be looking at very loosely social uses of uh, first idioms and professional use of idioms. Although that said, there'll be quite a lot of crossover between the two. Now I've mentioned before on these videos that it's very uh, useful for you guys to uh, have at your disposal to be able to use idioms, but don't use them all the time. It's just good to, so that when you, you hear idioms being used, you understand what is being said when you read them in um, sort of high level um, writing that you understand and recognize them. But I would take your lead on how they are used from native speakers of English. So, because otherwise it can seem a little bit unnatural. So just try and use them every now and again, okay? Right, first of all, we, um, well, I'll, I'll go through what each of them means and then maybe we can uh, put, put it into a context of a story. Okay, so first light. Yep, so we have night and day, light, and dark, first light when it stops being dark, beginning of day, the dawn, la madrugada in Spanish, I believe. Um, first light is so very beginning of the day when you just start to see the sun sort of rising up in the horizon. First light. First come, first served. This is used all of the time. Yep, whenever there's a situation where it's like, you know, there's no established queue or line, as you say in North America. Um, someone might just say, okay, first come, first served. Who wants this most? As in some food or some drink or whatever it is. First come, first served. Who wants it most? The first dance. This is a ceremonial term um, and you'll mainly get it at weddings. The first dance is the uh, first dance between the newly wed husband and wife. So no one dances until they have had their moment on the dance floor. And then normally they beckon, they invite everyone to come and join them um, a little way through the song. Okay, love at first sight. So this is the Romeo and Juliet moment where they clock eyes and immediately they understand that there is something very special between them. When Cupid fires his arrow, no choice. Um, so that instantaneous reaction of, wow, this is something special. A first timer, the first time you are trying a particular activity. So have you ever cooked quail's eggs before, Benjamin? Ah, oh, no, I haven't. Um, this is my first time. Ah, you're a first timer of cooking quail's eggs. Interesting. Um, I don't know the first thing about. The first thing does not mean like the most important. It means if you don't know the first thing, then you don't know anything. Yeah, I don't know anything about uh, being an Eskimo. I don't know the first thing about Portuguese. I don't know the first thing about um, the planets, Neptune, for example. If at first you don't succeed, so this is a saying, and the rest of it is try, try again. If at first you don't succeed, try again. So at first here is like, well, the first attempt, um, a, a bit of a crude explanation, but I saw a sign once on a, on a toilet uh, and next to the um, sort of the pool flush, there was a sign saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So if the first one doesn't work, try it again. Ladies first. Now, um, some 
ladies like this being said and see it as a sign of kind of manners and some find it slightly patronizing and they're like well why should i be going first um but from my experience i think it's a uh polite thing to say that if you have two people and uh, you reach a doorway an entry point and only one person can go first then it's polite to let the lady go through but um it may be different in your culture the first lady is the most important lady at a social occasion but that sense of this idiom has by and large um, doesn't exist anymore if we say first lady then you'll probably think of the president of the usa's wife so let's have a look at how these could be used i'm just going to demonstrate their use and then we will go on to our more work-related idioms. Okay, so we had a wedding to get to, and it was a uh, three-hour drive from London. So we needed to get up at first light. Luckily, there was some food before the ceremony, and the man doing the barbecue said, first come, first served. And because I was so hungry, I went straight to the front. It was a lovely wedding and I particularly enjoyed the first dance. Um, they did a salsa dance and it was very good fun. There were some speeches and we found out how it had been love at first sight for the couple. The wedding was taking place in a hotel uh, with lovely gardens and I went out for a walk um, halfway through the afternoon and found a croquet pitch. Now croquet is that funny game with the sort of white hoops where you hit the ball, the funny coloured balls, and then you have to get it, you, you go sort of round and then try and get the stick in the middle. Um, I explained to, to the guys who were starting a game that I didn't, I didn't know the first thing about croquet. Um, I, I was a first timer. I hadn't played before. Um, so they explained the rules to me. And I have to say, I found it quite difficult to um, hit the ball correctly. So they said to me, don't worry, don't worry. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So I did try again. We played for half an hour. And by the end, I felt like I had the rough idea of how to play this game. Um, we were just going back into the um, hotel when I saw the mother of the bride. Yep, the, so the girl who had just got married, I saw her mother. And so I said to her, well, ladies first. You are the first lady after all. Okay, so these ones over here are slightly more formal. Now, our first one is first floor. In the UK, we start with ground floor and then it goes up to the first floor. So the first floor, you have to go up some stairs to get to. In the first place, this means if you're having kind of an argument or a discussion, it's the first point that you would make. So England are in the World Cup final tomorrow morning. Um, it's morning where I am. And if, if they lost the game and I was discussing it with a friend about how the game had gone and we were saying like what we would have done if we'd been on the pitch or what we would have done if we'd been the manager, maybe I'd say, well, in the first place, I would have played or I would have selected this player. So um, my first point is that, yep, in the first place. What's your first impression? So um, if you arrive into a new country and you look and you sort of look at the horizon around you, you're like, hmm, okay, yeah, different. Your first impression is the first things you are thinking about that place or a person. Yep, it's often about a person. Um, in business, we always try and make a good first impression because it, it makes such a difference. First glance, at first glance. So uh, 
uh, we have a problem with the roof. Um, there is uh, some water coming through. Yeah, we do need some tips. Yeah, the building's about to cave in. I'm not quite sure if we will complete the video. I'm joking. Um, but at first glance means when I first look at it, I'm like, all right, yes, something is going on with the ceiling. Um, at first glance, the first thing I look at it, and it's just the first thing I think. It's a little bit about this, but first impression is more about, um, you know, you create an impression. It's what you make someone think about you. Whereas at first glance, it's not so much about people. It's more about, you know, a house or some information. First things first. This is quite similar to this phrase here. So um, what do we need to do about the water coming through? Well, first things first, we need to call the landlord. He needs to come round. He needs to come and sort this situation out. Yeah, first things first. What do we need to do first? First aid. So I'm sure you've all seen a first aid box. Um, minibuses are required to carry them. Um, teachers need to have them if they're going on school trips. In your first aid box, you're going to have sort of plasters, cream, bandages. So first aid is the first help in case of some medical issue. Okay, so a first aider is qualified to give you that initial help should something go wrong. First call. Um, so if you are on a bus and it has various different stops, first we're going to be calling at uh, Brompton and then secondly we're going to move on to Earl's Court. So that's one meaning of, of it. Um, the other meaning of the, uh, the idiom here is where you give someone the, the first choice. So I'll give you first call means um, maybe we're playing cricket and I say to my friend, do you want to open the batting or do you want to go in um, number four? And he might say to, you, say to me, I don't know, you've got first call, what, what would you prefer? And I'll be like, okay, cool, I will start then. So first call, when you've got like the first say on a matter. Similar to this one. Now, pretend that we have a house for sale and lots of people come and have a look at it and some people want to buy it. These people come in and they say, I want to buy it for £400,000. And the estate agent goes, oh, hang on a second, we've got someone else who's coming in to put an offer. And they put an offer in for £405,000. So it's a little bit more. But these guys maybe have first refusal because they got the offer in there first. So if you have first refusal, you have the right for your offer to be considered first. First class, top notch, yep. Um, first class honours in the UK is like the top degree classification that you could get. If you travel on the train, you have a choice between travelling in first class or in standard. So something first class is top. And then we have two idioms relating to uh, sport. This actually comes from hunting. So if the hunter draws first blood, it means they make the first mark. Now in a contest, the person who has the first blood is like they have the upper hand to draw first blood. The England team have drawn the first blood means, you know, they've got three points on the score. First leg, Maybe a match has two matches. You're going to play home and away. This is the first leg. This is the second leg. Okay, I said that I wanted to put this in context so that you 
got an opportunity at seeing these words in context. I ring up my landlord. There's a problem. Hello, Karen. Yeah, hi, Karen. Yeah, Benjamin here. No, we've got a slight issue. Yeah, uh, no, it's on the first floor. Yeah, but there's water coming through the ceiling, Karen. Um, and then she speaks to me. Benjamin, in the first place, can you make sure that there's a bucket under the water to uh, collect that water? Uh, yeah, of course, Karen. No, we have actually already done that. Um, my first impression was that, um, you know, it was coming through from the roof. Um, OK, Benjamin. No, well, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to come in, uh, send a handyman round. Um, so Lee will be coming um, in the next couple of hours. OK, thanks very much, Karen. OK, I look forward to seeing Lee. Lee comes along. Do, 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 do. Hi, Benjamin. Hi, Lee. Um, right, uh, Lee, yeah, we've got some water coming through the roof. OK, yep, yeah, no, yep, yeah, I can see some water coming there. Well, at first glance, I would say that's quite a serious problem you've got there. Thanks, Lee. Um, oh, no, some, something fell through the roof and, um, and cut me. <sighs> You don't know any first aid, do you, Lee? I've, I've really hurt my hand. Um, I've got a first aid box in, in, in my van, actually, Benjamin. Would you like me to get you a plaster? Thanks very much, Lee. That's much better now. Thanks. Well, uh, Benjamin, having seen the problem at first hand, I would say that um, we're going to need to replace the roof. It's, it's quite a serious problem. OK. Thanks, Lee. Um, so, do, 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 do. Karen back on the phone. Benjamin, you're going to need to move house. Oh, dear. Um, OK, well, I don't know what to do, Karen. Um, OK, well, we'll send you some available properties. OK, um, I like the look um, at first call, I would say. I like the second one on the list, Karen. Is that possible for us to go and stay there? Oh, the second one. Yeah, that's a really nice one, isn't it, Benjamin? We have got someone else interested in that flat. So um, I have to make you aware that they've got the right of first refusal uh, because they got there first. Oh, oh, that's a shame. Um, oh, some news has just come in. Yep, they're, they're not interested, so you can go and stay there. Oh, that's first class. Thank you so much, Karen. OK, well, uh, send us over, you know, the information. Um, OK, great. The uh, These don't really work in this context. Um, so what I would say is I found it really difficult putting in these two phrases here. These are the most two, two most difficult ones to use. Um, so I would say kind of yeah, it's sort of estate agents, people working in um, a kind of world where different people are trying to buy things at the same time. But if you're not doing that, then you're not going to use that quite as often. Um, so first impression, really useful one at first glance. Um, and I would particularly draw your attention to first come, first served. Um, and maybe, oh, I don't know the first thing about that. Have a go at the quiz now. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Benjamin. Make sure you're a subscriber and I'll see you in the next video. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again.